Continuing to field more questions here for you, Similia, someone within the Telegram group asking about how to approach questions in QBank that you get wrong. And it's a very generic question. So I will give you uh, a pretty good answer here without making this a 17 minute discussion. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M E H L M A N underscore medical. The link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now I'll start the clip. So, how should you approach questions you get wrong in QBank? And my answer, uh, firstly, is make sure you absolutely read everything from the explanations in QBank, okay? Do not skip explanations, even for questions that are too easy for you, that you say, okay, another fucking question on PTH, vitamin D, wasted time. No, I want you at least just having your eyes read uh, the explanation for 30 to 60 seconds. Just, it's an honor system, okay? I mean, no one's going to be hovering over your shoulder making sure you read, but you know, to get the benefit out of QBank, you need to look at the explanations. Now, that the caveat is that's not synonymous with spending 45 minutes on each explanation because Mike Melman said that you should be reading absolutely everything, uh, but you need to make sure your eyes at least see the explanation. So don't skip explanations uh, The questions you, for the questions you get wrong. And then for the wrong answer choices, yes, you're going to be reading everything, as I just said. So question blo uh, blocks of 40 to 80 in tutor mode untimed random is how you are going to retain information best in the macro. Some students like doing things subject specific because they feel like they can really pack the punch by having that temporal density of a subject area, right? You uh, reinforce the concepts uh, within a very narrow time span. You feel you can really uh, retain them better that way. It's to my observation as a tutor over a decade uh, doing this that students will essentially uh, gain a transient retention of the material when they go in subject specific mode. Let's say you do all the GI questions right now, and then a month from now, you forget everything. So in, when we talk about macro retention, macro retention for when you set the eventual step, it's doing questions in random. Okay. So you get a question on placenta previa, the next question's on rheumatic heart disease, the next question's on cystic fibrosis. So you just get a sporadic uh, interval of different concepts coming to you. And uh, that's how the real exam is, right? It's just a random, it's random mode. So you need to get accustomed to not only doing large numbers of questions, but doing things in random mode. So random, untimed uh, tutor, 40 to 80 questions per day. And you're going to be reading absolutely everything in QBank. You're not going to be skipping everything. And then in terms of annotations, uh, you do not need to annotate uh, liberally. Okay, I want you being very conservative with annotations or not annotating at all. I know some of you feel like you need to write stuff down. Uh, you say, well, how am I going to remember anything if I'm not writing it down? Um, you need to become accustomed to just forgetting things. Okay, the process is remembering, forgetting, remembering, forgetting. That's normal. Okay, so you have to become comfortable with just understanding that. Uh, forgetting things is a part of the process, okay? Uh, you know, I was even that way when I was studying for the step. I'd read something in QBank, be like, wow, I've never heard of that before in my entire life. And then i go and uh, annotate it into my notes and I'd already written it there. So that's a normal process, okay? Uh, but very conservative with any annotations and you can do that into my high yield PDFs, all right? I make lots of clips on this, this strategy-based stuff that you're gonna be doing high yield arrows, absolutely. Uh, you need to really hammer down the NBME exams, all right? You know the deal. I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.